And today I would like to offer you a meditation. It's a guided meditation that is called My Inner House. And this meditation will help you to evaluate your boundaries and understand yourself better. It will also help you to see how do you present yourself in this world. And um, before we will do meditation, I would like to give you a short overview of the exercise so you will know what to expect. So at first I will ask you to relax and I will guide you through the relaxation process. And then I will ask you to imagine a house. And you can imagine any house uh, and we're not gonna go inside the house. Uh, in this meditation, we're gonna look outside. Anything that you see outside uh, will be extremely important. And don't worry, if you see yourself inside the house, I will guide you and I will ask you to go outside. And then I will ask you several questions like, uh, how big is the house? How tall is the house? What do you see around you? Do you see neighbors? Uh, do, you, do you have a backyard? And all those questions. And then mm, at the end of the meditation, we will discuss the symbols uh, of this uh, practice and we're gonna decode the image that you uh, that you see if you, you've seen in this meditation okay so uh, find a comfortable position make sure that uh, nobody is gonna disturb you for the next five seven maybe ten minutes uh, turn uh, off your phones Make sure that uh, nobody will call you, text you, and you're not going to be uh, distracted by any sound. Close your eyes. You can keep your eyes open. Uh, this is up to you. I recommend you to close your eyes, but if you want to keep them open, if you don't feel comfortable with closed eyes, you can do it with open eyes as well. Allow your body to relax. Take a deep breath in and out. And another deep breath in and out. And the third breath in and out. Allow your body to relax. And let your subconscious mind guide you as you go deeper into the relaxation. Any noise and sounds will only help you to connect with your inner world and imagine images. Allow your body to relax more and more, deeper and deeper. Relax your shoulders, your elbows, Relax your wrists and every finger on your hands. At some point, allow your chest to relax. Your breathing might get in deeper and slower, deeper and slower. Relax your abdominal muscles. Allow the wave of relaxation travel down to your belly. Relax your legs. Relax your knees, relax your ankles, relax your feet. At some point, start relaxing your back muscles, relax your lower back, your middle back, your upper back. Allow all the muscles along your spine to relax. Relax your neck, the back of your head, your temples, relax your forehead, eyebrows, relax your cheeks, jaw, and relax your eyes. Staying with eyes closed, you can hear my voice and imagine images. And now imagine a house. It can be any house that you've seen in your real life or some imaginary house. Anything that you see is good and important.
Now please notice how big is your house. How tall is your house? What material does it make of? Can you see the roof? What color is it? What shape is it? Flat, pointed or any other shape? What is it made from? Does your house have windows or balconies? If yes, how many do you see? Do you see any blinds or curtains? What does the front door look like? Is it big? What color is it? Do you have a key from this house or not? What do you see around the house? Is there any fence? Does it have a big fence or small fence? Is it solid or transparent? Look carefully and try to notice all the details Does your house have a gate or entrance? Now try to imagine that you are going around the house and try to inspect it from each side. Take your time and actually go around. You might notice that some sides of the house or some sides of the yard is closed. Just notice, what do you see? When you're walking around the house, try to notice where your house is located. Do you see any neighbors, any other houses around or not? What is your general impression of this house? Do you like it? Do you want to live in this house or not really? Look around, try to remember all the details and find a comfortable place where you can complete this guided meditation and return to your room. Open your eyes. Look around, name three objects that you see. You can stretch, you can touch your body, your arms, your legs. Make sure that you get back. 
and uh, please write in chat or write in comments below the video what did you see and how do you feel right now this is very important give me some feedback and i can give you my feedback on your feedback I highly recommend to take uh, color pencils, market crayons, any coloring tools and draw the house that you saw during the meditation. So you can connect one more time to this picture. And people who have already signed up for the premium and VIP package of the upcoming training, you can email me your pictures and we will discuss it later in details. And uh, if you're gonna watch this video later, in if uh, not in live, but uh, not, not during live broadcast, you can uh, click pause right now, uh, stop the video, take uh, pencils, markers, crayons, draw the house, and then continue watching this video. Because right now I will give you some um, information about the symbols of this meditation. Okay, so the decoding of the meditation, the fence. The fence is the symbol of your personal boundaries. Today we were talking a lot about boundaries. And the fence is the symbol of your boundaries. How tall uh, are they? How thick are they? How transparent are they? How your boundaries look like? Uh, when you uh, were next to your house and you were looking to the outside through the through the fence were you able to see the outside outside world or not maybe fence was blocking your view so the fence is the symbol of the boundaries that you have in your life right now if you did not have a fence it means that you are not protecting your interest your boundaries at all it means that you allow other people to use you it means that you cannot say no and you don't know how to say no at all so if you don't have fans it means that your boundaries are absent you don't have any boundaries the front yard the front yard is uh, the symbol of how you present yourself in this world for example, people who have a perfect uh, front yard in the meditation, they have a perfect uh, Facebook page, they have a perfect Instagram page. They have amazing pictures uh, and when you look at their Instagram page, it's like, wow, this person is living uh, some uh, magical life. But the front yard is only the presentation of the house. So your account on social media is the presentation of your life and your front yard in this meditation is the presentation of you in this world. How do you present yourself in this world? Um, the house itself, the shape, the color and the roof, all those elements uh, represent you, your mental health. Uh, your anxiety level and basically this is how you see yourself in the world uh, if you had the key to the house it means that you know how to connect to yourself you know how to connect to your inner desires and you know how to connect to your true feelings uh, windows and balconies. Windows and balconies represent how do you communicate with the outside world and uh, mostly with the people who are close to you. So fans is mostly with the people in general, with other people in your life. But windows and balconies is your, is your family members, uh, your husband, wife, boyfriend, your kids. And uh, if you allow them to be part of your life, then you probably have windows and windows are not closed are not locked like you can see some something through them you can see a little bit uh, of the house inside so you allow your close family members to be close and to be in a um, close deep connections with you 
uh, the area behind the house, the hidden territory, represents your secrets, your fears, and your inner conflict, and any uh, psychological traumas that you might have. Something that you are hiding from other people, and if you were not able to walk around uh, the house, then it means that there is something that you are ignoring you're trying to hide it from yourself you're running away from your own fears you don't want to face them you're high you're running away from some pain or maybe some something in your past experience probably in your childhood if you saw a huge castle big houses uh all those uh big houses castles uh, pointed roof uh, are symbols of magical thinking, psychological immaturity. You might be in your 40s, 50s, but uh, on a psychological level, you are still a child. And uh, people who are um, stuck in this psychological childhood, of course, they cannot protect their boundaries. Of course, of course for them, it's extremely hard to say no. Uh, of course, they don't want to hurt other people. So, um, if you saw a huge house, a castle, uh, a Disney dream um, palace, right? Then you have to work on your inner child. You have to work on your self-worth uh, and your self-confidence and self-acceptance. Neighbors. Neighbors are symbol of your perception of other people. Did you see any fence or sidewalk between you and the other house? How far uh, did you see your neighbors? How close they were to your house? Did you like how uh, like the distance or it was too far or too close? Please write in comments below the video uh, what did you see uh, and after the webinar I will read your comments and I will help you to decode it. So if you would like to get my feedback just below the video write in comments what uh, you saw and your question like for example i saw a cat next to my house what uh, it can uh, what what it represents or for example you can say i did my house didn't have a roof or my house was uh, standing next to the river what does it mean please write your comments below this video and uh, i will uh, reply to you and help you to decode this image and again people who have already signed up for the premium and vip package for the upcoming training eight weeks of healing their inner child you can just email me your pictures and we will discuss it later in details and uh before we're gonna end this webinar if you like this video please click like uh let me know in comments this is extremely important to me and when i see you like it motivates me and i want to create more and more videos share this video on your social media networks on your facebook on your twitter on your instagram please help me to uh spread out the world about psychology of happiness about my business because i my mission is to create more a free uh, webinars uh, and affordable trainings that, help, that will help people to overcome their fears and uh, create the life that they really, really want. Below this video, you can find the links, you can go through the program, you can see all the topics, and please join me on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, this is it, it. This is all the information that I prepared for you today. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you find it helpful, please click like, subscribe, and share. And again, my name is Elena Semenek, and this is Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. See you next time. Bye-bye.